the pudding is same as a previous version in Substance Painter. Let's get started. So here, I have my uh, geometry here in Maya. So the first step, what I did is I created a new material by going here and created a Lambert. And I just went here, File, Export Selection. And I exported my, you know, OBJ. So you can have OBJ, FBX, or Olympic Cache. You can use any other formats and Substance Painter will uh, will support it. So I'm going to click new and I'm going to go select and I'm going to select Mr. I. So the one crucial part when you're importing a geo to Substance Painter is make sure this is turned on. Use UV tile workflow and if you want to enable painting across tiles, you have to make sure to select this. If you select this one, it's going to be behaving like the previous versions. I'm just going to click OK and I'm going to discard it. And you could see you have all the UV tiles in my UV window. Before you can only see one UDEM at a time, but you can see all the UDEM in the UV tile window. And if you go to my, uh, go to the texture settings, you can see everything here uh, with the UV tiles with the UDEM number in it. So what if like if you want to isolate objects like for the legs, for the body and the head. So in that case, what you have to do is, I'm just gonna hide this, I'm gonna bring back my Mr. I groups. So I separated my geometry into head, body, and legs part. So the body, and I created the body part and I created a new shader for it. And for the body, I created a new shader for it. And for the legs, I created a new shader for it. So then I exported this as an OBJ. And let's see um, how it looks like. So I'm gonna select say Mr. I underscore group and make sure these are selected. I'm gonna click okay and I'm gonna discard it. So now if you see, we won't see all the UV tiles in the UV tile window, but if I go here, you could see the groups, what we created in Maya. So for the legs, I can isolate it by going to this uh, texture set list. So this is how we create and import like uh, objects, into, uh, objects into Substance Painter to paint across UV tiles. You can also see, I can paint across UV tiles as I, as I paint on the UDEM or else I paint it here. Baking is same as the previous version in Substance Painter. The only difference in the new Substance Painter is you could bake all the texture sets or else you can uh, bake the texture sets for each groups. To understand better, so I have the body group, head group and the leg group, right? So if you want to bake texture sets just for the head group, where are, what I would do is I go here and I if I hit bake selected textures, it will bake all the, all the textures, all the texture maps for the entire geo. Whereas like if I want to just do the body group, I'm just going to hide it and I'm just going to do the body group and it bake selected textures. And you can also bake selected textures just for the one UV tile as well if you want, just by going and unchecking a texture. So now if you see, as soon as I bake the textures, there is a number popping up in my maps. So the number is nothing but how many maps has been created for my UV tiles. So there are five UV tiles, it's one, two, three, four, and five. So it just shows like there's five marble maps has been created. Uh, for example, there's four UV tiles in the head group. Let's pick the let's pick the textures for the head group and let's see what we get. And pick select textures. And I'm just gonna click OK. So now you can see there's four maps that's been created. So this is the only difference between the previous version and this version. Importing image sequence in the recent version of Substance Painter is really easy. Before, when you create multiple textures from Mari or any other softwares, when you bring in the textures, it's really hard to, it's really hard and painful to put like each individual textures into one fill layer. But like the recent version of Substance Painter made it really easier because it understands the image sequences. For instance, to demonstrate this better, so I create a smart material for just the head group and I exported the textures for it and let's import the textures. So here you see, so Substance created uh, multiple textures for each uh, textures. For example, there's four textures for the base color, eye, metallic and roughness and vice versa. But now before you have to select all the maps to bring into Substance and create a fill layer and plug it manually. But now in restoration of Substance, you just have to pick one map, any one of the map and just click open. So I'm gonna click texture, I'm gonna say project untitled and I'm gonna import it. So as soon as I import it, you could see there's a number popped up which says four. 
that means four UV tiles, four UV textures has been imported into my project. So to demonstrate this better, I'm just gonna close this and I'm gonna create a fill layer. So I'm gonna plug this into a color map. So you can literally see Substance understands the image sequences and put the textures in the appropriate idiom. In the previous version of Substance Painter, masking can be only done on UVs since we have access only to one idiom at a time. In the recent upgrade of Substance Painter, we have access to all the idiom. So we can go and mask a certain, certain or specific UV tile we want. To go into masking, you go at the top, at the right top here, and you control click. So as soon as I control click, you can see everything becomes gray shaded in the UV tile as well as in my 3D window. To unmask a certain UV tile, you just left click on it. So now if I have a paint layer, if I'm going to paint on it, it's only going to affect on those unmasked areas. To demonstrate this better, I'm gonna create a paint layer and I'm going to unmask everything by control click dragging it. So I'm going to unmask this areas and I want to make sure that I click on the paint layer to go and paint it. So as soon as I paint it, you could see I can only paint on the unmasked areas. It's not allowing me to paint on the masked areas. You can also go back by clicking on it and unmask certain areas and mask certain areas as well. So this masking mode works on a paint layer, fill layer, as well as and groups as well. So groups are really powerful since we can, you know, mask the group and we can put like as much as materials we want to mask it. To demonstrate this better, I'm just masking the group here and I'm un unmasking certain areas and I'm putting a shader here. So you could see it only affected the areas which is unmasked here. Exporting in Substance Painter in the recent upgrade is same as the previous version, but there is a little tweaks and upgrades they have done to it. To uh, demonstrate this better, if I go to my texture settings, and I have three groups, body group, like head group and leg group. So if I go to my body group, my texture size is set to 1K. And if I go to my head group, it's set to 2K. And if I go to my legs group, it it's set to 512. So if I go to file, export textures, you could see if I go to my body group, the texture size is set to 1K. My head group, it's set to 2K. My leg group, it's 512. You can also override the settings by going here and setting the size of the textures you want. And there's also introduced a new template um, as the UDM tag, where you can put this UDM tag, which will give the UDM tile numbers appro appropriately. For example, here are some of the maps I exported uh, with the UDM tag. So you can see the UDM tiles has been created by itself. You can also put underscore or dot and or whatever you feel like doing it. Thanks for watching this UDOM Substance Workflow video tutorial. If you really enjoyed this tutorial, please like, subscribe, and comment below.